traditional teaching methods continue to be the norm in the Philippine education. The majority of the respondents agree that the state of the effectiveness of having an online learning is not effective, showing the result of 90% of the respondents. Hence, the null hypothesis, the online learning has no significant difference from the traditional way of learning, is rejected. Good day, I am Joshua Litan. I am Charisse Nicole Jose. I'm Marie Joy and Jesus. I am Jan Ray D.R. Carlos. And I am Madeline Pasco, and we're here to present our term paper entitled Effectiveness of Online Learning from Classroom Learning of the Second Year College Students of Central Escolar University Manila, School Year 2020 2021, a comparative study. The outbreak of coronavirus disease leads to closure of many industries and non essential business establishments, including schools and universities. As the number of cases of coronavirus disease remains to rise and the virus is spread quickly and easily, the Commission on Higher Education modified and formulated a new way of learning to reduce the spread of COVID-19. And online learning is a possible medium that schools and teachers can use to reach out the students during this pandemic and to limit the disruption of education. One of the vital materials in conducting online class is through internet connection. According to Pillstar Global, Philippines has lowest internet speed in Asia-Pacific countries. This gave ideas to the researchers to conduct a timely and relevant term paper. The effectiveness of online learning from classroom learning of the second-year students of Centro Escolar University Manila, school year 2020-2021. A comparative study. The general problem of this study is what are the differences in terms of relevancy of learning online from learning in a classroom setting. The researchers also come up with three sub-problems. One, what were the common problems facing by the student in online learning? Two, how does online learning make an impact in academic performance of second-year college student of Central Escolar University, Manila? Three, what are the advantages and disadvantages of online learning in the day-to-day -day lives of students? Now, hypothesis. The online learning has no significant difference from the traditional way of learning and is effective for the second-year college students at Central Escolar University, Manila, as their new system of education. Alternative hypothesis. The online learning has a huge significant difference from the traditional way of learning and is not effective for the second-year college students at Central Escolar University, Manila. In the case of the study, this research will benefit the following stakeholders. For students, this study is designed to give a better perception regarding the effectiveness of online and traditional learning. For parents, this study will provide an idea and awareness regarding the performances of their child in online and traditional classes. For teachers, this would reflect the student-teacher relationship to have a better understanding of the different situation and give a better quality of teaching. For the Philippine government and commission higher education, the study would be a learning paradigm for the government agencies from which the study provides information to, to have a better approach in optimizing the student's skills and abilities. For the administration of the university, the study provides an idea on the condition of students in the practice of online learning that may be used in the form formulation of better strategies in teaching. So for, for future researchers, uh, this will provide upbringing studies regarding the topic and may be used for the enhancement of study regarding the effectiveness of online and traditional learning. This research study focused on the advantages and disadvantages of online learning in the day-to-day -day life of the second-year college students with no specific courses in Central Escolar University, Manila. Time had become the major limitation in this study as this was conducted with limited amount of time framework. The researchers used both open and closed-ended questionnaire to the use of Google Forms and was distributed to 90 random second-year college students with the use of random sampling technique. The Commission on Higher Education adopts and promulgates flexible learning having synchronous and asynchronous learning in higher education institutions. According to Alfonso 2016, this provides education to the use of technologies on students and educators who are physically separated from each other. The use of this enables multiple forms of interactions in teachers and students despite of different circumstances and situations. Also, it allows distance education institutions to aid both in independent and collaborative learning 
by the use of different pedagogical structures. In the contrary to these, Approaches in teaching in e-learning contexts are not necessarily being transformed or changed for the better. According to the study and the findings, in particular in 2020, the results mostly of the student survey are lack in motivation and drive to study, poor and unclear communication with professors, and big adjustments to the new system and style learning. In addition to these, the results of the study of Pisano and Sima 2007 shows that many school districts have issues about quality, student readiness, and staff development regarding online learning. Change from face-to-face -to, -face to online setup is a huge task for beginners. With this, improving courses from the traditional way to online learning must be a step-by-step -step process, and that professional development might be easier if the administrator would use blended approach. Internet access in relation to students' education. According to Vasquez, with the use of digital technologies, it created a new way of teaching skills to reach out to students by using educational portals. According to Amadora, online learning requires a strong internet connection. But not all students have equal access and strong internet connection, especially those students who live in provinces. According to Ornedo, as the classes started to continue, students and teachers are now facing a new challenges brought by poor internet connection, in which many students cannot attend their first day of classes because of slow internet connection. Online learning in relation to students' mental and physical health. So according to the Department of Health, students may develop health problems and this is due to increase in screen time and uh, exhaustion and headache may arise. Which is followed by the study of DiGirolamo 2020 that since college students are expected to spend hours in front of their gadgets, it may lead to eye strain. During online classes, students are also expected to sit in a decent way for hours. And according to Laskowski, 2020, sitting down for too long uh, may have bad effects in the body. According to the University of Illinois in psychology professor Alejandro Lleras, excessive use of mobile devices is associated with depression and anxiety, which is cooperative to the study of El Hay et al. 2016 that overuse of gadgets scores higher in depression and anxiety scales and it is possibly due to the lack of social activities and isolation that results in the reduction of behavioral activation succeeding to increased depression. So in contrary, there are also positive effects of online classes to students' mental health and performance. So according to Brown 2019, since students uh, will be attending classes in their home, they are more likely to be with their family. And according to Brown 2019, spending time with your family reduces stress. And in addition, uh, Gosen, Gosenheimer et al. 2017 states that there are also advantages of online classes that students point out and it is related to convenience and the possibility of studying at the most appropriate time that has been also linked to academic preferences. This research study was conducted in Centro Escolar University, Manila. This institution is a private non-sectarian located at number 9 Menjola, Street San Miguel, Manila, Metro Manila, Philippines. Research Design in this research study, the researchers use qualitative study and comparative study, wherein they determine the effectivity of online learning from the traditional way of learning in the Black 2 first semester of school year 2020 to 2021. The respondents of the study were the selected second year college students at Central Escolar University, Manila. The researchers chose 90 students and were decided through the use of simple random technique. This research study used closed-ended and open-ended questionnaire to gather data from the randomly selected respondents. The questionnaires were distributed through the use of Google Forms. For the data gathering procedure, the survey was done in a specific time frame from 9 p.m. of October 11, 2020 and it ended at uh, 2 p.m. of October 12, 2020. So from this specific time frame, there were 90 students who answered the online survey. As the results were conducted, researchers tallied the responses and used frequency and distribution formula for its statistical treatment. This is the overview of the responses of 90 second-year college students of CU Manila. From the given table, it can be observed that the data confirmed that traditional teaching methods continue to be the norm in the Philippine education. The majority of the respondents agree that the state of the effectiveness of having an online learning is not effective, showing the result of 90% of the respondents. Hence, the null hypothesis, the online learning has no significant difference from the traditional way of learning, is rejected. Therefore, it can be said that the online learning is not effective and is not suitable for the second-year college students of CU Manila as part of their educational curriculum 
as it has a higher percentage result given in the data table. Weighing out the pros and cons, majority of the students appear that the disadvantages dominated more in their personal experiences. Among the challenges to online learning, difficulties adapting learning habits, needing to fulfill responsibilities at home, sleep deprivation, inadequate communication, or lack of consistent guidance from educators were the most often experienced. As a student, they prefer attending the class and listening to their professors in an actual setting, as they absorb lessons better that way. Virtual learning has barred the students from achieving that. Hence, they are forced to face their laptops almost the whole day just to comply with the task given to them. For that reason, the students' energy depletes, causing their productivity in the digital academy to be affected too. Overall, according to the respondents' answers, implementing online learning to students affects them more in a negative way, and majority of the students much prefer the traditional way of learning, which is the face-to-face -face classes. Based on the data that were gathered and analyzed, the researchers come up in the following recommendations. To the government of the Philippines, establish a program that will enhance the internet connection due to the fact that all students are dealing with online platforms for their education. To the school administration, think and conceptualize approaches that will enhance the competencies of online learning. To the professors, be more efficient in encouraging the student to study the course and provide a light and yet meaningful task or activities in order for the student to understand the lesson clearly without affecting their state of sanity. To the family members, lessen the house task for those students who are enrolled in online education for them to be more engaged and focus on their online commitments and activities. To the future researchers who have similar topic to this study, they can use this as a reference to have a better learning and great research paper and to improve the concept of online learning in order to have an efficient approach and solution for the society.